And again, just to clarify, like, I mean, there are a lot of rumors and a lot of people talking bullshit. I'm just acting to what I know and what I think I can do to make the situation better. I don't know, I'm, I'm sitting here already 10 minutes this morning and I feel so demotivated by the entire situation. It's hard for me to stand up, go to the studio and do business as usual. They are now debating, heavily debating, and I think today they will decide to close all schools. Never had that before, never since World War. And it's scary because this will be a huge, huge cut into society. All of the kids, kindergarten, schools, all of them at home but it's still the best to stay strong do business as usual when possible and i'm pretty sure like this is already affecting every single person watching these videos it's, it's crazy like other countries already closed everything i'm now starting to to start with like an emergency plan i'm planning for the worst and the worst could be up to a month locked down at home and me maybe even not being allowed to come here to the studio so i will change a couple of things most importantly my old and trusted yamaha speakers taking both of them back home just in case if i can't reach the studio i still at least got some speakers that i can put in our closet with a lot of clothes and still make music to 99 percent you can say I'm exaggerating the situation, but let's be honest, like three weeks ago, would have anyone predicted that Italy, the entire country, will be on a lockdown, all stores closed, everything closed. No one is allowed outside. You, you're getting fined if you go outside, but I'm not even done. Like there, there, are, there are more measurements I have to take. I mean, I, I prefer doing too much and a lot of people say it will be over in two weeks. I don't think so. This will last way longer than anyone thinks. I mean, look at China, they have it for two months and it's still going on and still no one really goes outside and everyone is really, really careful. So yeah, I'm, I'm expecting the worst, trying to prepare for it, but I'm still hoping that, that it won't happen. But yeah, more measurements. From today on out, no one, except me is allowed here into the B studio. No one of my employees, just me, no courses, no, like nothing, no vocal booth. This is locked. It's like the secret room now, just me entering and you guys. Also everyone entering or leaving the studio has to wash their hands, no exceptions. First thing you enter this building, washing your hands. I've separated the team. Like as far as possible, everyone got their own space and their own towel for everyone. Also, since, since the B studio is closed, just open to me, we kind of reactivated the A studio, just like a table, speakers are still set up, just in case if anyone of the team needs to listen to demos or check a song that they have the possibility up here. And again, just to clarify, like, I mean, there are a lot of rumors and a lot of people talking bullshit. I'm just acting to what I know and what I think I can do to make the situation better. I personally, I'm not that afraid to get it because like four out of five have like just a cold and it's fine but there are people that are at higher risk. And if I can prevent by small measurements, more people actually getting it, and, and we can all together like make this slow, as slow as possible, it is possible for the healthcare system to take people and take care of them. That's right now the highest risk. There are some people, unfortunately, that will just die due to this. We can't, we can't fix that. But we don't have to make it more people by having a lot of people get infected at the same time and not having enough hospital beds and oxygen masks for, for these people. And it can also hit younger people. There are some cases of younger people 
that just don't make it. So for my safety, the safety of my employees, and the safety of all of our parents, great grandparents, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think I'm not exaggerating. I mean, this all just took me like 20 minutes, so why not do it? If everyone would do the same, maybe we will have a less worse situation, but will be worse. And then once all of this is over, then there's like the financial, economic kind of thing, but um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. This is really, really fucked up. I, I hope in like a couple of months I will look back onto this video and be like, ha, ah, you fool, you, you made a fool of yourself for, for doing all of this stuff. That's fine, I can live with that. But I don't want to look back onto today and be like, why didn't you do these kind of things? You could have helped prevent it. So, um, yeah, to all of you out there, wash your hands as much as you can. My team, they have a timer set on three hours. Every three hours, all of them wash their hands, have their own towel. Anyone entering, leaving the building, washing their hands and uh, also getting fresh air into the studio every three hours. I mean, that's the, that's, the, that's the least we can do for, for us and everyone else around us. So, yeah. Now, trying to get back to the usual, which is like using the studio and, and making some music. Fighting. So would you follow me, follow me? The news are not getting better. All schools closed. In some parts of Germany, more than 75 people are not allowed to meet or do any kind of event or anything. Then Spain is emergency mode. US is thinking about it. Wow. This is really serious. But the good part, I I finished another song, the mixing of Do To You, the one with the trumpet. I think this is like maybe, or could be maybe the, the most successful song out of all of the album songs, because it's the catchiest and like the poppiest and maybe also the stupidest. But I think this could work really well. I'll play it to you again in the outro. But now, yeah, a couple more safety measurements because there's maybe a five percent chance i might not be able to to come to the studio again in a couple of days so every day from now on i will definitely make sure to turn off all of the heating unplugging all of the power unplugging the fridge central heating also off Do you even want to try and describe your day? <laughs> I can only imagine. No, like, thank you. Tourism? Screw it. Yeah. Lights are going off. It's like <laughs> perfect yeah, timing. Sign. Yeah. We're not trying to do some grocery shopping just in case. <sighs> This was not easy. Like, I didn't even take the camera with me to the supermarket to carry more. There was no toilet paper, no, um, how do you say, like for sneezing, hang hankies? And no cans, corn, and a lot of other stuff. No pasta, no rice, it's all gone. But we got enough for, for a week or two, just in case. I mean, I'm not afraid that we might not get any food. That's very, very unlikely. But like eventually there will be lines and I don't want to wait in a line for five hours just to get some food. So yeah, I mean, the rest, the rest is just up to destiny. I don't know. But no matter what happens, I'll, I'll try to keep you updated here on this channel. And yeah, once we're on lockdown, probably just make music 24-7 and 
yeah, just share the music making process with you so that you can learn something, get inspired and um, yeah, just do the normal usual thing. It's all that is left to do, like trying to make the situation as normal as possible. And I got some snacks for Vanessa to cheer her up because honestly her job at the moment is like very, very tough. 